Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given cubic equation as you can see over here. And here's our problem. We got a cube root of x plus cube root of x minus 2 equal to the cube root of x minus 1. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. I am going to take the cube on both sides. I'm going to take the cube power 3 on this side and power 3 on this side as well. And now we are going to expand this left hand side by using this formula a plus b power 3. And here in our case I'm going to call this part as an a and this part is going to be our b and now we can apply this formula. So the left hand side could be written as I'm going to write down the cube root of x and then power 3 plus the cube root of x minus 2 and then power 3 plus 3 times the cube root of x times the cube root of x minus 2 and then I'm going to put down in the bracket uh, cube root of x plus the cube root of x minus 2 equal to here this cube and cube root they undo each other we simply ended up with the x minus 1 and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so this cube and cube root they undo each other we ended up with x plus once again this cube and cube root they are gone we ended up with x minus 2 and then I'm going to leave everything as it is 3 times the cube root of x times the cube root of x minus 2 and now let's focus on this part over here this is uh, same as the left hand side of our original equation and that is equivalent to this cube root of uh, x minus 1 so that means I can replace this part by simply cube root of x minus 1. So therefore I can write this part as the cube root of x minus 1 equal to x minus 1 on the right hand side. And now we can see that this x on the right hand side and this x on the left hand side they are gone and let me move these x and negative 2 on the right hand side and here's our next equation once we have moved this x and negative 2 on the right hand side and now let's focus on the right hand side this part I have just copied it down over here and this could be simplified as negative x plus 1 and if I get this negative sign outside so we ended up with the x minus 1 so therefore the right hand side of this equation could be written as a negative sign outside and in parentheses x minus 1 and here's our next step let's go ahead and take the cube on both side of this equation power 3 on this side and power 3 on this side as well so this 3 power 3 is going to give us 27 and here we can see if we take the power 3 of this cube root that is going to undo this one so we simply ended up with the x and then let's focus on this next part over here when we take the power 3 of this cube root so this cube and cube root they undo each other we simply ended up with the x minus 2 and likewise for this next one is going to be x minus 1 equal to here we got a negative and then x minus 1 power 3. Now let's go ahead and move this uh, right hand side to the left 
so that is going to give us 27 x time x minus 2 time x minus 1 when we move this one on the left hand side is going to become plus x minus 1 power 3 equal to 0 and now we can see that x minus 1 and x minus 1 is in common between these two terms so therefore I'm going to factor out x minus 1 outside and inside the bracket we got 27 x time x minus 2 and then plus this one is going to be simply x minus 1 square equal to 0 and now we are going to expand this binomial by using this a minus b square formula so let's go ahead and take care of this equation x minus 1 is still outside and here I am going to distribute over here so that is going to give us 27 x square minus 54 x plus let's expand this one that's going to become x square minus 2x plus 1 and equal to 0 and here's our next step once we have combined these like terms over here and this one as well now let's move on to the right hand side as we are running out of space over here on the left so here we can separate these factors we can split them up we're going to put down x minus 1 equal to 0 or on the right hand side I can put 28 x square minus 56 x plus 1 equal to 0 and we're going to see this x minus 1 equal to 0 means x equal to positive 1 is one of our solutions and now let's focus on this other part this one as we can see I have just copied it down over here and we can see this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we are going to use and here's our quadratic formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks and we can see our a value is 28 b value is negative 56 and c value is 1 so we are going to have x equal to negative and b value is negative 56 plus or minus the square root of negative 56 square minus 4 times a in our case is 28 times c is 1 and everything is divided by 2 times 28 and here are a few more steps where I have simplified this problem and as we can see over here we got square root of 3000 24 and I have copied it down over here and if we factor this one out we can see that this could be simplified as 12 times square root of 21 and that's the reason why I just wrote down 12 times square root of 21 so thus our simplified answer turns out to be x equal to 1 plus or minus 3 times square root of 21 divided by 14 and now let me go ahead and split these two signs positive and negative so we're going to have our x value as the first one is going to be x1 plus 3 times square root of 21 divided by 14 and the other x value is going to be 1 minus 3 times square root of 21 divided by 14 and thus here's our complete solution x equal to 1 and here are our two other x values and if we put them in a decimal notation these are our approximate values as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye